Welcome back, Sorry, guys. This is Tea Time on okay. Plus TV Africa. Okay. In case you are joining us, you've missed on all the basketballs of the mm -hmm. season. David Do and Bernard Boy, it's Nassan, whoever's. But um, it's time to play a game. Let's just leave the chit chat for a minute. Uh, and let's play a uh, game. So this is inspired by the weekend for me personally. Okay. Uh, a lot of house parties, a lot of games and, and all of that. So I want to see if my Kwankos <laughs> can win me. Because okay. I was a champion this weekend. So basically, Ooh. if they can win me, I'll okay. buy them lunch. Mm -hmm. I'd not say well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget this evil man. <laughs> It's closed. <laughs> That's true. Okay, mm -hmm. but anyway, this game is called Categories. We call it Concentration Abroad, but in Nigeria, we call it Categories. Okay. So, mm -hmm. basically, you pick a category of anything. Let's say we pick um, soft drinks, right? That'll be the name of the category. Mm -hmm. Then you have to say a soft drink at each turn. Okay. You can't hesitate when it's your turn, and you can't repeat what somebody else has said. Mm -hmm. The person to jabble gets out. Okay. The last man standing wins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should we do a test run or should we start? Let's start. Ah, well, <laughs> Ennis confident. Alrighty, the first category is colors. I'll start, then if you'll follow, then any. Then back to me. Okay. Okay? Red. Blue. Purple. Pink. Yellow. White. Green. White. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh -huh. Any, are you ready? Mm. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> African Ooh. countries. Any African country. Or should we do West African countries? No, African. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will start a youth follow. Ghana. South Africa. Nigeria. You yeah. hesitated. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't act like she has something in her throat now. Yeah. There's so many okay. countries now. Just follow mm -hmm. Kini. Okay, let's let's do another round. Okay. Um with all of us in there. The last one will be Nigerian celebrities. As part entertainment, Nigerian Ooh. celebrities. Because this is T Time after Male, all. female. Male, female, everybody. Music. Music. Mm. Just has to be a name that everybody knows. Don't go and do yeah. your your favorite influencer that's just starting, you know. Mm. We must be able to know him. Uh, uh, as long as she's on Google. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can now tell me J Jacob. Jacob in, Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Shago. Mm. Uh David Whiskey. Jema Chukuka. Burner Boy. Starboy. If <laughs> 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 that is so bad at this. <laughs> no, I was going to call all Whiskey's three names. Starboy, Whiskey, Matcha. <laughs> That's very <laughs> good. Okay. Good, you want to continue? Mm -hmm. yeah. Start now. You're still 25th then. Okay, Mama G. Genevieve Naji. Rita Dominic. Stephanie Okereke. Steph London. <laughs> <laughs> Steph London is not Nigerian. That's true. Are you sure? Steph London yeah, is not, not Nigerian. Now. He's not Jamaican and Nigerian. No. Oh, <laughs> she married the boy. Please say that. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't let the Jamaicans come for you, please. Yeah, is, She's okay. not Nigerian. You win, Jerry. Thank you. Mm. Alrighty. Ah, Steph leave this table. I think it's because of that song. She was speaking mm. Yoruba. <laughs> okay. Ah, what's that, her song? No, Cardi B. I'm very upset. <laughs> hey, I'm hey. sorry if you say something that sounded like Steph London. Hey. It just entered my head. Okay, I'm sorry. Nicki hey. Minaj. Please, why are you attacking me? You, you, first round, you just... Are you, you, you said... What's the thing you said? You said... What was the, the first one? You said... Oh, Jesus. What did you say? The first round that you made you leave? You I, I think you repeated that. Oh, okay, okay. I called white. Okay, okay, okay. I said white okay, 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 okay. All right. I thought you didn't even say color or something. No, I would line on no color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. Uh, let's move on really quickly. We have... And it's okay. Um, okay, basically, guys, it looks mm -hmm. like Rita Dominic has, for the first mm -hmm. time, revealed, mm. I think it's the first time from last I checked, has revealed the identity of her partner. Uh, mm -hmm. The movie star took to her Instagram page on Saturday, December 26th, where she showed off her, her, her man, Fidelis Anosike. <clears throat> Merry Christmas, she captioned the photo. Her celebrity friends trooped in their numbers in a comment section as they basically celebrated her from Genevieve Naji to Inia Do to mm. Mercy Johnson to Chikaike. All of them celebrating the movie <coughs> star and her new man. So I guess you can say yeah. okay. congratulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that we are in a, in a world where your relationship progresses mm -hmm. and one of those progression is involves social media, if that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. especially for somebody like her. I'm sure when you started, you know, like, mm -hmm. this for them was probably a, another stepping stone the minute you became public in okay. my mm -hmm. social media feed, which wasn't like that, at least 
10 years ago that I can remember at least. Nobody okay. really cared that much. Kind of just showing how serious this whole social media thing is. But I'm very happy for it's her. Especially Instagram. Yeah, I'm TikTok. very happy for her. <laughs> I really like that the guy is not in the entertainment industry. Mm. I really, 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 really like that. Um, I don't know who he is, but for Rita to feel comfortable enough to reveal, it shows that he's serious. He is worth the mm -hmm. the right. attention and the wahala that is going to come from her just even doing that. And he seems supportive because he's accepting her life and her following and social media. And it's part of that. Obviously, this is a consented picture. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Rita is somebody that has been single for a long time. And to me, that indicates a good thing. To me, indicate somebody who wouldn't want to settle because mm -hmm. Rita is not somebody that will struggle to find any man, if that makes okay. sense. Not some women that are just looking for any man, shall mm -hmm. please, just any man. Sure. Um, and she's kind of proving that she's not like that because of how long mm -hmm. she has decided to at least not post anybody up. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that this is fruitful and they take it to where they want to, whether that's marriage and kids and all of that. I know that they're really happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm quite happy for Rita Dominic because I think we all grew up with Rita Dominic, but yeah. all those times, Rita Dominic, Jim Mike, and it all. And our relationship has become a, a very public topic since mm. back in the days because you remember that time they actually suspected her to be gay, yeah. that she was having a relationship with Genevieve. Mm. So with this, I'm actually quite happy. She could still be gay. She could be bisexual. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> she came out saying that was wrong, that right. she was just a movie. Mm. But anyhow, I'm, I'm happy for her, sure. And, and I love what you said before about not settling for less. I think no woman, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going out no, of the car, but fine. no woman should actually settle for less. If you know you're not happy with this person, just keep waiting. And if I, if, if me, I believe that there's someone for everyone yeah. in this life. So I'm happy that she actually waited this long and met, this perfect, uh, met the perfect person for her. Mm. And about what the guy does, he works for um, a newspaper yeah. company. So right. I'm some work for your homes. <laughs> <laughs> He's part owner. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. So I'm happy for her. Yeah. Big shout out to um, Victor Dominic. And I think it's actually your decision when you want to show mm -hmm. off your man. You know, it's not like um, it's um, a level of progression. And I like the fact that she did it, you know, when, you know, the Yellowtide season where everybody's um, celebrating and then, you know, not celebrating, but then you just show off your man. And everybody has concluded. But big shout out to her still. Um, 45 years old and still able to mm -hmm. find love. That's, that's to let a lot of people, a lot of women out there know that, look, you can't give up. Never let your age be the obstacle. Mm -hmm. Never let your status or the things people People think they know about true. you be the obstacle from finding true love, mm -hmm. finding true commitment. Just find the right person that stays. And if he understands you to the point where he feels like, okay, there's no point of you showing me off and you, you're you also cool with it, then by all means, you all should do whatever makes okay. you happy. And I like the fact that all the other celebrities came out in your numbers, you know, to to be in a flood of comment section mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, because it just shows a level of support. And if you check the people that came out, it's the old, old ones. <laughs> 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 Most of them are actually. But quickly, yeah. I just want to add to what yeah. um, Ife just said. I'm happy that she didn't actually let the pressure of society weigh down on her. That she still waited to find this right person. Because you know, in society right now, immediately you are 30, you are 30 years old, and as you are a woman. They start like, okay, why are you not married? They start looking for something that is wrong with you. So I just like the fact that she waited. I, I think I always she, downplay mm -hmm. this part of conversation because it's not in my reality at all. It's only it's sometimes I realize that in this part of the world, even what I first said is mm -hmm. something you have to repeat. It's like really wild to what me that, that eh, you are even when you're above the age of Guinea. You know that if you're above the age of a certain age <laughs> and you know don't feel pressure, that advice you were basically giving, it's completely wild to me that that right. is even something that you still need to like talk about because yeah, most people act like you're blind to reality but because if you know the reality of society, this country then you, you know that if you know okay. what the society does to older women that are not married or that are even 45 if it, and they don't have it's not a job okay. it's not no, a no, job I, I yeah. what i'm saying is not that you I'm don't have saying. to say that I'm blind to whatever i didn't grow up in this context okay. where i'm coming from everybody knows it's not an age thing we don't congratulate 20 year olds differently than we congratulate 50 year olds it's not a prize it's not an achievement it's not a big deal mm -hmm. nobody cares mm -hmm. so sometimes i forget about that and thankfully for me my circle in nigeria has remained the same mm -hmm. nobody cares 
if you are married, if you're not married, if you want to be married, if you didn't find, like, nobody thinks Even about that. It's only when, years. it's only seven years. <laughs> Just teasing. Like, <laughs> I'm not even up to a year now. yet. It's so, okay to know. Um, and what's it called? It's only when I remember, mm -hmm. it's only when you bring the things um, things up like this or we see on social media or in okay. their comment sections that I'm reminded again. Because it's a mindset thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to change my mindset over something I've, sure. I've grown up with 15 years in comparison to almost one year that I've been here. And I'm not mm -hmm. even going to allow you Change to penetrate it. my mindset sure. for such rubbish. Anyway, so, but it's, it, it's, so what I'm saying is that it's a good reminder that that's mm -hmm. even still a thing to bring up. Because I remember somebody reading in the comment section for Kafi, actually, okay. when they were like, ah, we thank God, do 30, kiniko. Sure. And I'm thinking, like, I don't understand what the big deal is. Like... It's wild to me. Yeah, it's not it, to thing, me. It's yeah. not. It's not. There's nothing wrong. You. You have. You're, there, there is no problem if you're 30, 50, and you're not married. It is. There's no problem. You have zero problems with that. It's not mm. a big deal. It's mm -hmm. not. Self love is more fulfilling, Rich more, girl. more entertaining, more wholesome than any other kind of love that you can get. I would be really sad for a 50 year old who has no self love and is married over a. 50-year-old who has self-love and has no one next to them. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. We need to have that conversation. And I think we really need to progress past all of that. The way they were congratulating, Kathy made me sick to my stomach. Like, as okay. if, no, she had a, a breakthrough or something. Mm -hmm. Like, she it's escaped. not a big deal. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously, if you want that for your life and, and you know, that's something that you're waiting for. I understand mm -hmm. that waiting can be a bit, like, difficult, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, you're waiting for some kind of person and all that. But don't let society make it look like this waiting is the <laughs> okay. biggest thing after mm -hmm. whatever. Anyway. My sisters, may the God of Rita Dominic find you all. That's the last one. Please, I beg, love yourself. The man will come. <laughs> if he doesn't come, you'll be all right. I wish we had more time. But unfortunately, that is all that we can take. Okay. But thank you so much for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one, in case you came in after the break or you missed something and all of that. Just go back to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. All our content is there. You can also catch the Tea Time crew live in London, now to TV and on Ben Television as well. A big thank you. A big thank you go out to my co anchors for the Oshike and in your life for keeping it jiggy. And of course, the entire production team. Thank you for all the wahala that you guys do on our behalf. And thank you for watching Plus TV Africa. My name is Ife Omar. My adios. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Peace.